Avery McLeod and McCarty use this key method with fractionated cell contents. They tested the components of the heat-killed cells to see which could carry out the transformation. So they took protein from heat-killed cells and injected it into mice with the rough strain. No infection. They took polysaccharides from the smooth heat-killed strain and injected that with the rough strain into mice. No infection. They extracted RNA from the smooth heat-killed cells and injected it with a rough strain into mice. No infection. It was only when they injected mice with DNA extracted from heat-killed smooth strain mixed with the rough strain that the mice died. The rough cells were transformed to the virulent strain by the DNA from the heat-killed smooth strain. And that suggested strongly that DNA was the genetic material. It had the ability to transform. This experiment was widely criticized, however, because proteins had been favored as the genetic material. So their finding was not widely accepted. It was dismissed by saying that there must have been some protein contaminating that DNA sample and that the protein was actually the genetic material. Even though this experiment was not accepted by the larger scientific community at the time, it led to a series of experiments that eventuated in accepting DNA as a genetic material.